सचिनंदन नीता सचिनंदन गौरा हरि जय नीता सचिनंदन नीता सचिनंदन नीता सचिनंदन गौरा हरि ताय सचिनंदन गौर हरि जय जय प्रभु पाय प्रभु पाय प्रभु पाय जय शील प्रभु पाय श्रीनिताय सचिनंद भगवान की जय शिल प्रभुपाद की जय शिल गुरुदेव की जय नीताय गौर प्रभनंद Thank you very much. There was a, uh, some changes in the, well, everybody looks way far back. If devotees who are here can come forward, so. So there's a change in schedule. There's been multiple, I think, switches uh, for various variety of reasons. So uh, I'll be giving, uh, the, the Sunday Feast Lecture for today, if that's okay. Uh, so, my name is Jay Sachin Das. I think everybody I see here has been here before. Have you been here before? What's your name? Donovan. Donovan? Nice to see you. You're a friend with Jason? Are you from Portland or from here? How do you like it so far here? You do? What brought you here from California? Yeah. You got tired of living there? Okay. Okay. Have you been in uh, Iskan Temple or you're familiar with Krishna Kunti? Yes. Yeah, so you went to Laguna Beach Temple? No, actually there's, uh, you know, with the guy who goes there, it's been all the way down to Long Beach, but I've lived here sometimes. Okay. Okay, well, welcome. Uh, so we'll just, Hare Krishna. So, we, Hare Krishna. so we're having a celebration of Sri Ram Nami on, uh, coming up on this Tuesday, a uh, very auspicious day of the appearance of Sri Lord Ram. So, uh, I've been long attracted to uh, the Ramayana in, uh, yeah, I think in, yeah, in somewhere between, yeah, around 95 or so, uh, I started reading the Ramayana after getting it from uh, Gita Press at uh, Rishikesh. And uh, I was very attracted to it and the message of Ramayana. Uh, was it very consistent with the message of all of our Shastras. Ramayana is a commentary in one way, a Rasic commentary on, on uh, the Vedas. So it contains, the Itihasas within them contain commentaries on our you know, profound scriptures. Uh, so uh, there's so many things to say about Ramayana. Uh, I was going to speak this on Tuesday, but uh, there was a change due to scheduling for devotees. So I was, I've read this book called Ramayan Retold by Krishna Dharma Prabhu, as well as the, you know, the Ramayan by uh, Balmaki Ramayan, and as well as uh, Tulsidas Ramcharit Manas. 
So th there's many versions or I wouldn't say versions, but many commentaries on uh, Ramayana that are exist. But there are so many profound pastimes, and okay, and uh, I was one that always kind of touched my heart was of uh, Sri Ramchandaji requesting Sita Devi to leave Ayodhya. <clears throat> and the title of my, uh, what I hope to speak about is, is called Giving Shelter and Receiving Shelter, is the title of uh, today's session. Uh, and there are many commentaries on this aspect, but uh, uh, I was going to mostly take commentaries from Sri Govinda Raj, commentary, yeah. Uh, uh, so, anyways, but the thing that inspired me to speak on this topic was that aspect of Sita Devi leaving Ayodhya and receiving shelter of Balmiki. So, for some of you that are not familiar, uh, I'll just describe that pastime. How many of you are familiar with Ramayana? Okay, so we have some new guests. Uh, so, so, after the battle with Ravan, Sri Ramchandaji and his entourage, including Sita Devi, come back to Ayodhya, right? Uh, and at that time, you know, the kings used to have, I wouldn't call them spies, but uh, they used to have people in the general public, the citizens, who would kind of report to them the, the mood that was going on in, amongst the population at large. Uh, kind of like what I guess our pollsters and our media do now, but they're supposed to kind of accurately represent uh, what was going on. So uh, the, what was Sri Ramchandraji was told by one of his spies that the citizens of Ayodhya, that's the kingdom of Sri Ramchandraji, uh, are full of happiness and praise for you. But there are some who do not speak well of one action of yours. Specifically, that Sri Sita Devi, the wife and consort of Sri Ramchandaji, uh, was at one time a prisoner in the 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 palace of Sh Ravan. I was about to say Sri Ravan, one of the pal in the palace of Ravan, and he is well known to be not a very cultured uh, individual, to put it mildly, and therefore, what of Sita? who was his prisoner, and therefore Sri Ramchandaji was incorrect in his decision to, Hare Krishna, he was incorrect in his decision to bring back Sita Devi with him from that. Her reputation was tarnished because she was with such an uncultured individual, even though as a prisoner, she, uh, Ravan. I have heard some people speak like this, is what Sri Ramchandaji's spy Jason, you're familiar with Ramayana a little bit? Okay. <clears throat> I've heard some people speak like this. And of course, Sri Ramchandaji being a very loving personality and uh, deeply you know, uh, in tune as one body with Sri Sita Devi was hurt to hear this. He knew that Sri Sita Devi only thought of him and was very pure in her intentions and her actions. I mean, how many of us can say Agni Dev will say when we step into the fire that this person has no sin. <laughs> this person has, this personality has no sin within her. You know, so we know she was very, he knew that she was very pure, but a king also has to conduct themselves to satisfy their subjects. You know, they're taking, their family, unlike nowadays, the idea is in the Vedic times, the kings were really taking care of their subjects, one and all. So that's just considered a quality, and Bhishma Pitama explained that to Yudhishthira Maharaj, when Yudhishthira Maharaj was lamenting upon the conclusion of Kurukshetra battle. Hmm. So he decided to give up Sita Devi in a way, in a symbolic way. And he called for Lakshmanji and informed him of what he had heard from the spy. And he asked Lakshmanji to take Sita Devi away at once and leave her near Valmiki's hermitage. Well, Shri Valmiki is the so-called author of Ramayana. 
I say so-called because Ramayana ever exists as long as Sri Ramchandraji is. Like Veda Vyas is considered the author of the Vedas, but the Vedas are the breath of Bhagwan. So it's, they're not created in that way. And so Lakshmanji was, of course, very uh, pained and shocked to hear of this desire of, of, his, of Sri Ram. And he tried to change the mind of Sri Ram Chandraji. But, you know, Bhagwan is fixed in his mind and in his decision because they're one and the same as him. And he could not succeed. So he had no choice. And he had to take away Sita Devi. So he helped. And there was a plan that Sita Devi was going to go out into the forest. If you read Ramayana, there are beautiful descriptions of Sri Ram and Sita Devi just enjoying nature. You know, and they're very, very pleasant and peaceful pastimes to read about. But she was going to go do that anyways. So uh, uh, he, he took her to the forest and uh, she was having a very good time in the forest admiring the animals and the foliage and the beauty of such a pastime. And then uh, he came to her and in the Ramayana it says that was the first time that uh, Sri Lakshmanji ever looked at the face of Sri Sita Devi. In the entirety of the exile, he never did that. Hmm. So he was crying and he was saying, I've been asked to leave you in the forest because people in Ayodhya, some of them have spoken ill of you and they have doubts about your chastity and your virtue. And they blame Sri Ramchandraji for bringing you back from Ravan's prison. And then the duty of a king is to take care of his citizens. And therefore, Sri Ramchandraji feels that it's for the betterment of his society to have you leave. This has given him pain, but he is doing it out of a sense of his duty. So I have to obey his instructions. I'm very sinful and I'm going to leave you in the forest. Kindly forgive me and he touched her feet and he left. And she didn't say anything because she didn't want to disturb him from doing his duty to his brother. And subsequently when he left the scene, she collapsed on the ground because to be separated from Sri Ramchandaji was very painful for her. Mm. And she thought to herself, is this the fate of a lady who's always been chaste and thinking of her husband as God? And then she started crying, and, but not with intent of blame for Sri Ramchandraji, but she started crying. And she, hadn't, she was in the forest, so she had nothing to eat. And she fell down on the forest, and sleep overtook her. And by the evening, she woke up. And she didn't know what to do because she was by herself. So she started crying very loudly. And at that time, and I'm kind of paraphrasing, and Ramayana, you can see it in great detail. Then she, uh, at that time, she, some disciples of Valmiki uh, heard her. Because they had come to gather items from the forest for Valmiki's ashram, Valmiki's ashram, but they heard her loud crying and they followed it into the forest and they said, Mother, who are you? Why are you crying alone in the forest? We are the disciples of Sadhu Valmiki, Rishi Valmiki. His hermitage, his ashram is nearby. Come with us, Mother. And just hearing Valmiki's name brought some relief to Sita Devi. Brought some relief to Sita Devi. And so she came and she took some courage, came with the disciples to the ashram, and then she uh, fell down and offered her, you know, none other than the heart of Sri Ramchandaji fell down and offered herself to Valmiki. And she told the pastime to Valmiki. And Valmiki was, of course, deeply moved. And he tried to uh, 
console her as best as he could, you know, given what had happened. And he said she could stay in his uh, ashram. And he asked the ladies in the ashram to take care of her, informing them that she was supremely virtuous personality and they should look after her with much care and affection. And after time passed, she gave birth to two children. And they were beautiful, of course. And Valmiki saw them and was very, very happy upon seeing them. And he named them on the 10th day. What was their name? Love and Kush, yes. And they had received a lot of affection, not just from Sita Devi, but, but everybody in the ashram, including Valmiki Dev, Valmiki and his you know, disciples. And seeing them, she was able to give up her forget her sorrows. And this pleased Valmiki because it pained him to see her in such sadness. And then they grew up, the Brahmayan describes, they grew up like the moon rising. And Valmiki himself taught them reading and writing. How's that? To be taught by Valmiki, reading and writing. And then he taught them how to chant prayers. And they had very, the Ramayana describes their voices were beautiful. And everybody listened to them chanting. And Valmiki, because he knew the heart of Sita Devi, would have them chant and sing before her. And Naramayan describes it was like nectar, amrita, for Sri Sita Devi's heart. Mm. And then they became, you know, the twice initiated Dvija with the sacred thread, receiving the sacred thread. And then at that time, Sri Valmiki taught them the Vedic mantras. There were eight when that occurred. Uh, by the time Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur was eight, Srila Prabhupada's spiritual master, he could speak a commentary in every verse in the Bhagavad Gita. We should think what we were doing when we were eight. Uh, so they received the sacred thread as well as the mantras. And Valmiki by that time had quote unquote completed the Ramayana. And the two boys learned it by heart and they sang the Ramayana. Ramayana is meant to be sung. And when Valmiki heard that he, his heart, even though he composed it through the instructions of Narad Muni, he was filled with joy. And he made them sing the Ramayana. So he had them sing it before Sita Devi, and her heart, when she heard the Ramayana, melted because she lived the Ramayana. And she had she felt their sweetness and the way they sang it gave the Ramayan a new, you know, life, so to speak. And she was filled with tears and Valmiki felt very happy at the two children, Love and Kush, Hare Krishna Prabhu. And then he had them sing it to everybody who came to his ashram and eventually we know she they came along with Sita Devi to Ayodhya and sang it to Sri Ramchandraji himself. So when I was, there are versions of this pastime, and I spoke the more poetic version rather than the literal version. But when I read this, I thought of, that, that inspired me to speak about receiving shelter and giving shelter. Because Sita Devi, is the ultimate shelter. She's the uh, Antaranga Shakti of Bhagwan, which is none other than Bhakti Devi. We know that from Hanumanji's uh, discussions with her. And not just Sikh and Valmiki receive shelter too from Narad Muni. But the idea is that in devotional life, we seek shelter and we should give shelter. Right? So that leads into uh, the, the talk. So I'm going to connect it to my PowerPoint, if I may. Did everybody follow the pastime? Yes. 
So I'm not going to get into the pastime more. There's instructions and commentaries by acharyas on that too. But I wanted to speak specifically about surrender. Should I open the PowerPoint up first and then connect? Is there? So you can read along with me as well. If you can you see this? Yes? Okay. I was trying to get the right shade of green. I spent probably one hour trying to get the right shade of green, thinking of Lord Ram. So Ramayana begins with Valmiki's questions, right? Uh, that he narrated to Narad Muni. And they're very famous and they're very touching. And you realize from them that the questions are trying to ascertain what is the absolute truth. Who is the Supreme Brahman? Is it Vishnu or someone else? So uh, when I first read the Ramayana, I was kind of thinking, why is he asking these and why are the answers like this? And then when I read the commentary by Sri Govinda Raj, I understood that the idea was implying by these question and answers that Sri Ramchandra's G is none other than Vishnu Bhagwan or Narayan Bhagwan. Right? He's trying to identify these qualities born in in Ram as being non different than Lord Vishnu. And therefore he's the Supreme Brahman. So then the Devatas and Devis prayed to him and acknowledged him as Bhagwan. And that he is the object of all surrender. Tvam gatim param deva sarveshana parantapa from uh, Ramayana itself. O oh Lord, you alone are the supreme means of auspiciousness for all of us. O oh, tormentor of your enemies, kindly resolve to incarnate in the world of humans to kill the enemies of the devas. That's in Canto 1 of Sri Ramayana. So the question really becomes by what means can the supreme truth be attained? Because first, Narji and Valmiki's exchange identified that Sri Ramchandraji is Lord Vishnu himself, Param Brahma. And then the question really becomes throughout the Bhagavatam, what's the means to attain that supreme Brahman, or that supreme truth? And so Ramayan is a treatise on surrender. So much so that uh, she go with much uh, descriptions of surrender. Is there just for completeness? Because I desire liberation, let me surrender to Bhagwan, who first enlightened Lord Brahma in Vedic knowledge through Brahma's heart, right? The Kama Gayatri. The Lord, sorry. Forgive me. The Lord is the original source of all enlightenment and spiritual advancement. So that's in the opening shot. So from the beginning to the end of Ramayana, Valmiki presents surrender as a means to attain all sorts of benefits by kind of indicating the quality of the receiver and the quality of the giver of shelter. Okay. So, in the beginning, Valmiki starts by describing the quality of Bhagwan, and that specifically he is Bhagwan is waiting. Sri Ramchandraji, God, is waiting for. And. that approach, uh, you know, the Lord for shelter. And it says that they requested the Lord to descend and save them from the torments of Ravan. And 
Valmiki describes that Bhagwan became brilliant, thinking, now I have got the opportunity to protect those who have surrendered unto me. So here the idea is that the Lord is just waiting for an opportunity to give shelter to his devotees. That's his heart. And in the teachings of the Sandarbhas, that's the nature of Bhakti Devi. That's what Bhakti Devi is doing. And Sita Devi, Sri Radharani are the heart of the Lord. And that's how they give, give shelter to everybody through the process of Bhakti. Valmiki points out that the highest duty, dharma, of an elevated soul is to give protection to a surrendered soul. And that if one surrenders to such a capable, now remember this, when, because I'll show you a pastime, there are many pastimes of this in Ramayana, this is when one surrenders to a person who's capable of giving, capable of giving surrender, and protection, and who's compassionate. So, humans. And that Valmiki says that such surrender between that person seeking surrender and that person giving shelter will lead to success. So one of the points that the commentators make is surrender requires a mediator, an intermediary between the supreme absolute truth and that person who is seeking that shelter. So Valmiki points out by many pastimes of Sita Devi that one must submit to that person that is the dearest to the Lord. That's why Sri Rimati Radharani in our Sampradaya is considered the greatest of all devotees because she has the capability to give us Bhagwan, And Guru is simply acting with the empowerment of Srimati Radharani. Because she mediates between the surrendered soul and the Lord and pleads for his mercy upon the surrendered soul. And Valmiki states a, a statement made by Lakshman. He holds the feet of Sri Ramchandraji and, and speaks to Sita and Raghav together knowing well that although he's holding the feet of Lord Ram, it's really the heart of Sita Devi that he has to pray to. And <clears throat> Sita Devi told Hanuman, sorry for the typo, this very famous pastime at Jayant, I think most of you know, he's related to Indra and he was rejected. So when Sita and Ram were in the forest, Indra's son Jayant uh, assumed the form of a crow and he had bitten Shri Sita Devi on the chest when Lord Sri Ram was sleeping. But she did not protest or want to retaliate. So she did not you know, make sounds to tell Lord Ram how uncomfortable she is and get rid of this crow. But her blood, a drop of blood from her, actually touched Sri Ram Chandaji and he woke up. And he found the crow, Jayanth, with his beak with blood and understood what had happened. And being the mediator between the living beings and Bhagwan, and serving his feet, an offense to Lord Ramchandra, you, you see throughout the Ramayana is very forgiving and very compassionate. But an offense to her was worse than an offense to Sri Ramchandraji. So to correct Jayant, Lord Ramchandraji took a kusha blade and by his will, like Srila Prabhupada says, Krishna's will is fact. Bhagwan's desire is established as fact. So he took that blade of kusha grass and empowered it to become a brahmashtra and, and hurled it, threw it at Jayant. And so ultimately Jayant had to, he couldn't, it's like Dhruvas Muni and Ambrish Maharaj. Jayant had to come back to Sita Devi and seek her shelter. And then, you know, at that point, the Brahmastra went away. So some commentators said, why is it that uh, Sri Ramchandraji did, you know, such a strong reaction? And the commentators say it's because the idea is to let Jayant know that 
do not carelessly make such an event, offense. So unlike, I gave a lecture a couple of days ago, a couple of weeks ago on, on Shema Bhagavatam for the Sunday morning class, and it was uh, talked about comfort, being so comfortable that we're complacent. It, it was in regards to Dhritashtra being spoken to very strongly by Vidurji, you know, that you're like a dog in the palace, you're eating bhimas prasadam, what's wrong with you, you know, leave the palace. So yeah, that's the situation, but the, but the point I was focusing on was when you're too comfortable, it's hard to come out of that comfort zone and you become complete. we become, I should speak about myself, we become complacent. So, so uh, I used a famous quote by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. where he says, we live in a time when guided missiles are being controlled by misguided people. Guided missiles are being controlled by misguided people. But in this case, a guided missile is controlled by some personality that has full control to withdraw it backwards. So surrender requires a mediator. And Valmiki also described an incident, this is very famous, where you know, Sita Devi was in the Ashokvata, right? The, the, the grounds where she was imprisoned. Uh, and she was being overseen by some pretty terrible demonesses called Rakshashis. Uh, and they threatened to kill her and feed her to Ravan because she was unwilling to uh, give up Lord Ram. At that time, you know, there was a more favorably inclined demoness, uh, Rakshashi, by the name of Trijata. And she chastised the rest of the Rakshasas, and she said, enough of your cruel world, words. Please console her. I think we should beseech Vaidhi, which is she Sita Devi, to protect us. I saw in a dream that she, because she has been put into dress, distress, she'll certainly be freed from all kinds of miseries and attain her beloved husband, Shiram. Though she's been scolded by us, we should beg her to protect us, for the Rakshasas have attained a terrible danger because of their grievous insult to Raghav. Why should we hesitate to ask this? When we sub humbly submit to Maithili, she Sita Devi, the daughter of Jana can make her happy. She alone will protect us from the great danger that's about to come. That's in the fifth canto of Ramayana. So later, after Ravan was killed, Ram sent Hanuman to Sri Sita Devi to let her know of this good news. At that time, Hanuman you know, had a desire to you know, reciprocate with the Rakshasis and torment them like the way they tormented Sita Devi and killed them. <coughs> but they were protected by Sita Devi simply because they had acted on the advice of Trijata. So uh, Govinda Raj says that, Sri Govinda Raj says that this still illustrates a principle that even if one surrenders to a competent and compassionate person other than Sri Ram, that surrender will yield desired result. So, so this connects to our own sampradaya where Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Ye me bhakta jana partha, na me bhaktas cha te janaha, mad bhaktam cha, ye bhaktas te me bhakti atama mataha. Lord Krishna, he recounts Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that Sri Krishna Bhagavan told Arjun, those who are my direct devotees are actually not my devotees, but those who are the devotees of my servant are factually my devotees. And this is a great teaching in Ramayana. You see that in the example of Sita Devi, Hanuman, etc. You know, there, there's no lack of this in the Ramayana. And so Ramayana is often calls us Sita Yas Charita Mahat, the poem describing the activities of Sita Devi. And in her presence, Govinda Raj says, in her presence, the son of Indra in the form of Crow, who was called Jayant, was allowed to live. In her absence, Ravan was not allowed to live. So the power of a mediator. Are you guys following? Is this I don't think this is crazy complex, right? Yes? Okay. So the second thing that uh, Vamiki points out and as drawn out by the Acharyas is that 
one has to surrender to a capable person. And there's that famous pastime of how Lord Ram, on the advice of others, went to the god of the ocean, right, Samudra, and uh, to request help in crossing the ocean. And so he essentially prayed to the ocean th that the ocean god, Samudra, would let Sri Ramchandraji and his armies of many different animals and humans go across. So Valmiki Ramayana states in Canto 6 that Raghav spread kusha grass on the shore of the ocean, joined his palms in prayer while facing the east and lay down against the great ocean. Bhagwan is doing this. That destroyer of enemies, Sri Ram, used his arm that resembled the body of a snake as a pillow. Through this act, but, but we know that Samudra did not, was not able to help, correct? So the commentators say that surrender has to be a capable, has to be to somebody who's capable. That one should not consider an eligible person to be ineligible or an ineligible person to be eligible, that that's not how surrender goes. Ram's surrender to the ocean did not yield Sri Ramchandaji was demonstrating by personal example, did not yield the desired result because he had surrendered to someone who was not competent to award him with the result, nor necessarily compassionate onto the surrendered souls. So this is on path, on behalf of the person who is giving shelter. They have to be capable of giving the requisite shelter and they have to be compassionate towards that individual. So Govinda Rashi Govinda Raj said that specifically this is to show that surrender to the devatas is not useful ultimately for a bhakta. Okay. So Valmiki points out that there's no restriction about place, time, or person, or the result in the process of surrender, but there's restriction regarding the object of one's surrender. And Ramayana continuously reminds us of that through various examples. Sri Ramayana Dirgas Sharanagati. Sri Ramayana is an exposition on the process of surrender. Everything else in Ramayana and Bhagavad Purana is simply to bring out this teaching of surrender. Hare Krishna. So then, Ramayan and through the commentaries of Sri Govinda Raj, he explores in one complete section that Sri Ramchandaji is a suitable object of surrender. And he says that Sri Ramchand, I put in highlights, and this is only a portion of his many arguments. Uh, he said, number one, that the Ramayan ex explains that Sri Ramchandaji is the supreme truth. And so, therefore, he's capable. And he gives the description of how Lord Ramchandaji was able to break the bow of Lord Shivji, and how he defeated Purusharam, and how he pierced the sal trees on the incident with Bali, and how he constructed a bridge over the ocean, etc. So it shows that he is capable individual. You know, it's no point in asking from surrender from somebody who themselves are in the clutches of, you know, uh, sinking in quicksand, that doesn't work. You have to have somebody who's outside the quicksand to toss you a rope. If they're in the quicksand, they're sinking just like us. And then he, he, then he describes that in great length. I just summarized it. And then he mentions how Sri Ramchandraji is not only capable, but he has a compassionate nature. And he describes that in in, uh, in specifically, one of the compassion natures is dis in the description of Sri Sita Devi being exiled from the kingdom that I had described at the beginning of this talk. That, you know, I, I don't want to necessarily get back into that, but it showed that he cared enough about his citizens that he was willing to let somebody for whom he fought the entire battle if you think about it, the entire battle with Ravana was over her, seemingly. But then he allowed her to leave his side. 
And so Govinda Raj points out that this is like in Gita, uh, where it talks about that whatever the leaders, great leaders do, that the common people will follow. So Lord Ramchandraji was explain, demonstrating by his personal example. Example is better than precept. Like I was reading uh, something which said, in our sampradaya in ISKCON, we have so many people, so many advanced devotees that can recite the shastras and know the shlokas, but the need of the hour is for those that exemplify the shastra, those that live the life of shastra. And there are many like that. And then to go on, Vamiki then, and Govinda Raj specifically pulls out that Lord Ram is not only capable, not only is he compassionate, but he's accessible to one and all. And he points out in Ramayana, there's not just human beings, there's interaction between lots of different personalities, but he points out that Lord Ram was kind to Guha and considered Guha a devotee, even though in Valmiki Ramayana, there's no mention earlier of him being a devotee directly before they had met. Why? Because Lord Ram is Paramat also is Paramatma, and he's in the heart of every living being, so the Lord knows who is who. And then about Sabri, he knew that she was from a low, lower status in society, but that she was blessed with renunciation, with Vairagya, and with knowledge, and she had intense Ram Bhakti, being you know, given to her by Matangamuni, her her spiritual master, who had requested her to stay and blessed her with service. You know, so this attitude greatly pleased Sri Ramchandraji, even though she was in a in a lower status in life. So it, it when the Raj cl claims that it's clear that surrender unto the Supreme Personality Godhead, who is capable compassionate and accessible is the means to achieve desired results. And then, he, then another point, then the question is, he gets into the point is, why do we surrender? What's the purpose of surrendering? In an you know, surrender symbolism is like in armies when one side surrenders to the other, it's like they're giving up all independence, essentially. But that's not what Ramayana is necessarily saying is surrender. Ramayana is saying the primary result of, you know, that it occurs because of uninterrupted service, executed by those who are actually qualified for it. And we should note that it's not accidental. So this is explored. That the purpose of surrender is to attain Bhagwan. And to attain Bhagwan means attain the service of his lotus feet. That's what surrender is. Surrender is not liberation commonly, moksha is commonly thought of in the Dharma the Purusharatha, Dharma Artha, Karma, Moksha. But in Ramayan Moksha or liberation or surrender means to achieve the service of Bhagwan. And that example is given. The Bhagwan descended to protect the Devas as per their request, like Krishna Bhagwan descended to please Bhumi Devi. And so surrender for him was attained of their devotional service because the Lord, as you notice, both in Krishna pastime and Ram pastime, those Devi Devas descended. Right? They descended to the planet because of instruction through the intermediary Brahmaji saying, You take birth, you know, and they came in the form of monkeys. And so the, initially the Devi Devtas asked for, Please descend and protect us from this terrible demon. But because of Lord Brahmaji, they were instructed to descend as Lord Ram's servants, basically. And so the killing of Lord Ram is a coincidental, I mean, Ravan is a coincidental side effect. It's not the main activity of surrender. Surrender is meant to allow us to serve the lotus feet of Bhagwan. Lakshman surrendered to Ram and said, 
may your lordship be happy with, with Vahidi, which is Sita Devi in the mountains. I will do everything for you while you're awake or asleep. So he's surrendering to Bhagwan, but he's saying, I'm going to, my surrender means I will serve you selflessly. So the actual result of surrender to Sri Ram is to render service to God, Sri Ram, at all time, all place, all circumstances. So the nature of the candidate means to get liberation. One has to be in a mood of, to reach that position of surrender. So we now know, you know, that we need an intermediary and why. We now know that we need a capable personality to surrender to, right? <clears throat> we now know what is the, the goal of surrender. So what is the nature of the person who's trying to surrender? It has to be the mood of servitude and dependency upon Bhagwan. Servitude in Ramayana is called shesatva. It means personal service of Bhagwan. And dependency is paratarantriya, meaning carrying out Bhagwan's orders. And Govinda Raj uses two personalities to demonstrate this. Does anybody know who those two personalities are? Shesatva and Lakshmi. Yes. Yes, so, so Govinda Raj talks about this specifically. That servitude is revealed in behavior of Lakshmanji. Because Lakshman says to Hanuman, I'm his younger brother, famous by the name of Lakshman, and I'm captivated by my brother's qualities. I become his servant for he's grateful and considers little acts of service to be great. This is in Canto 4 of, of, uh, <coughs> of Ramayana. So that's Lakshmanji. Dependency is shown through the activity of Bharat. Bharat says, both this kingdom and I belong to Sri Ram. You should speak dharma in this regard. So Bharat's activity and his attitude up to the very end when he agreed to be coronated, you know, crowned as the king, uh, is based on this. It says the great soul Ram humbly and repeatedly requested the son of Sumitra in all possible in all possible manner to be appointed as his heir apparent on earth. Lakshmanji refused that offer because he was in the mood of servant. So then Bharat was crowned by Lord Ram. So there's a little compare and contrast that Govinda Raj gives. He distinguishes the two and how they please Lord Ram in two different ways. Lakshmanji is always conscious of his position as servant in pure devotional service. He wants nothing but service to Bhagwan, And that's why he disobeys Lord Ram's request to be the, the, the king after Lord Ram departs. But Bharatji's dependent is his mood of you know, being seeker of shelter is that he's focused on, on carrying out the orders of Bhagwan in devotion. Lakshmanji has no problem saying, no, I'm not going to do that. Because that hinders, becoming the king hinders me from being your servant. Bharatji is okay. I'll follow your orders. Do you guys see the difference? One is servitude and one is dependency. Lakshman didn't want to accept the position of the heir because that would obstruct his service to Sri Ram. Bharat, on the other hand, considered carrying out the instructions of Lord Ram to be of great importance. So in our sampradaya, the way we think about this is Vapu Seva versus Vani Seva. Seva to the form of our spiritual master versus Seva to the instruction of our spiritual master. So Lakshmanji is Vapu Seva and Bharatji is Vani Seva. So, I'll end with this. Uh, Her Grace Devaki Mataji was here. So, I'll complete the circle. So, after reading Ramayana, and particularly the incidents of where Sita Devi is banished by Sri Ramchandraji, I thought of the idea of, you know, she's the giver of shelter, and Valmiki is the receiver of shelter. But the receiver of shelter gives shelter to her. And then I read, uh, this book by Devaki, I 
read the commentaries on Ramayana, but then I read this book by uh, Her Grace Devaki Mataji, who was here last year, and she has this book called Sheltering Relationships. Does anybody have that? I think some of us have it, yeah? And some things that she said in there are like really uh, kind of made it come together for me. Like how do we as practicing devotees understand this? This seems very lofty, right? I mean, you're talking about Valmiki, you're talking about Sita Devi, you're talking about Lakshman, Bharati. These are eternal associates of Bhagwan. They're not practiced to become, you know, his bhaktas. They reside eternally with him. So she says some very wonderful things. And I, you, I encourage you to uh, read the book. I just took out some essences that I found in the book. That's all. So she says, giving and accepting shelter is the very essence of spiritual life, and it accompanies us throughout our life. And all practicing devotees, I think, would agree with that statement. Sorry for the typo. That's not meant we are meant. It meant we are meant. We're meant to continuously endeavor to take shelter in the holy name, Guru, Vaishnavas, and Sri Krishna. So that's accepting shelter of the holy name, Guru, Vaishnava, and Bhagwan. But we're, sorry for the typo, we're meant to qualify ourselves more and more in order to reach out to others and give them a shelter as well. It's not just, the idea is not just to take. The idea is to take with a grateful heart and then give to others. Right? It's not just to hoard our gifts that we have received, but to share those gifts with others. And then the point that I think she made, that I think in a practical manner tells us a lot is, we, unless we try to go deeper levels of understanding in what it means to take shelter through things like the pastimes of Sri Krishna Bhagwan in Vrindavan, and of course Sri Ramayana as we just discussed. Unless we go deeper into it, then our idea of surrendering and taking shelter of the holy name, shelter of guru, shelter of Vaishnavas, shelter of Krishna Bhagavan, shelter of the Shastras, is totally superficial. It will leave us as soon as something threatens us. And it's simply a formality, shelter taking. But when we approach a spiritual master, the idea is we have a period where the spiritual master observes us and we observe the spiritual master. But what is it really meant to be? It's meant for us to go deeper into what it means to take shelter. When we chant the holy name, you know, there's a difference between mechanical chanting and chanting from the heart in a position of servitude and dependency as shown by Lakshman Ji and you know and somebody's right. So <clears throat> so the problem she says is even though we formally take shelter deep in our heart, we're taking shelter of in our independence. We haven't really given you know, our heart to the process. So thank you very much. That's what I meant to speak about. Uh, if I said something you know, that didn't make sense, please go ahead and correct if you want uh, to add something, because I know lots of devotees are students of the Ramayana. Uh, please speak your your lessons, and if you have questions, please speak that too. Uh, any comments or questions? Yes, Hare Krishna Prabhu. Uh, sure, you want to give him a microphone? You want to take this one? I'll turn mine off so it doesn't. Thank you, Prabhuji, for a wonderful lecture. Uh, you packed a lot of uh, very, very important topics into a short time. So I want to kind of uh, uh, stress upon a couple of things, like highlights from, from the lecture. Uh, one is uh, on the surrender. Yes, it is for the devotional service, uh, definitely. but. Just wanted to add one more uh, point here, is that now devotional service can be rendered even in this birth with this body, 
we see a lot of great devotees, including Prabhupada, doing that. Uh, but uh, why we surrender is also for uninterrupted devotional service. Because we are limited by all the material uh, constraints in this uh, body and birth. So that is one reason we, we want to kind of uh, do that surrender. Very true. The second point I want to quickly add is uh, uh, you sp mentioned about uh, the crow pastime, the Jayanta. Now, some uh, I, I've heard from our Acharyas, it, it may not be Jayanta because Jayanta is one of the sons of Indra. It is said as son of Indra. So it doesn't have to be Jayanta. But the point I wanted to make is that very, very important point which you also touched upon is in Ramayana, if we see, Lord Ram never annihilated, killed, or punished anybody when Mother Sita was next to him. Uh, whether it is the Vali or Ravana or any other annihilations or uh, thing, it was, that's why in our Sampradaya, we always doesn't pray to the Lord alone, either with Radharani and Krishna or Ramchandra, uh, Sita Ramchandra, Siaram. So that's uh, the mother is very, very important so that the father kind of oversees the sins of the children. That's why Govinda Raj says that if you have present chance to spare, you have to give to Very true. Very true, Prabhu. And uh, well, the last thing, I, I heard you saying that Mother Sita, when Labakusha went and rendered Ramayan uh, to Lord Ram in Ayodhya, I, I heard it as Mother Sita also went with them, but actually she did not go. It was just they two went. Uh, just wanted to make that yeah, point. I've read a commentary which was worth a try. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I want to see if others, because I have a lot more points, but give chance to others. Probably. Anyone else? I see Anita Mataji's hand up. Sorry. I you can kindly share these slides with us. Sure. Thank you, Prabhu. Can you send me a message? Yes, I will. Okay. Thank you, Prabhu. Okay. Any question? Prabhu Mataji? Prabhuji, you talked about uh, letting our Sampradaya walk and one more thing. Can you... Uh, Vani and Vapu. Va Vani and Vapu. So can you explain that more? And I also wanted to know that Vibhishan is also like considered the epitome of like surrendering to Sri Ram. Yes. Ramachandra. So yeah. where would he stand? And Yes. So I'll sp Vani and Vapu is a topic in itself. So when is the physical service to the physical body? That's Vapu of spiritual master. And Vani is service to the instruction of the spiritual master. So, you know, one time somebody asked Srila Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada, please give me your mercy. Srila Prabhupada said, my mercy is in the instructions that I've given you. So that's Vani. And then about Vibhishan, without doubt, I mean, Vibhishan, Sugriv, uh, I just had to compact everything, the essential lessons in one hour. So uh, you're correct. There's a lecture that could be given about the interaction between you can see in the presence of Vibhishan, he didn't go directly to Ram, he went through Sugriv. Right, you can see Vibhishan uh, was in an ineligible place. He was in Lanka, you know, a place of terrible sin. But Ram, Ram, Ram totally neglected that. Uh, a pastime that, you know, I really like is where uh, the, the Lord, the Vanners say to, Lord Ram, that Sri Ramchandraji, you offered Vibhishan the kingdom of Lanka, but you also say anybody surrenders to you, you give them their desire. So what are you going to give to uh, Ravan if he comes? He says, oh, I'll give Ayodhya. And he said, well, what will you give to, you know, Bharat is there. Uh, he said, uh, I'll give him uh, uh, Vaikuntha. He said, but you're the Lord of Vaikuntha. What will you give to you know, Lakshmanji, or where will you go? Not Lakshmanji, where will you go? He said, I will reside in the hearts of all devotees. So, 
So yes, there's lots to be said about Vipishan. Uh, okay. Hare Krishna. So in the two examples in today's class, like Jayanta's and when Devas, they pray to Lord Ram, it appears surrender is requested and surrender is given at the moment. Whereas in the second part, it's like a process. You have to, you have, it is an observation period. You have to perform for a certain. So why does it appear in the past times? It's not just this in this class. I see that you need help. You just go to the Lord and like given. Mm -hmm. Could you elaborate why that? Uh, yeah. I can say a bunch of things, but uh, there's a very nice lecture that His Holiness Radnath Maharaj gave in 1992, uh, where a devotee, I think this was in Chaupati, asked Maharaj, if we're practicing spiritual life, but something is not going right in our life, is that a checkpoint, meaning somehow, you know, we're not receiving the mercy of surrender? And Maharaj very aptly said, surrender is always, mercy is always present. It's how one perceives that mercy. So in the example of Sita Devi, the mercy of Lord Ramchandraji is there because he wanted to uphold her pristine character. You know, so in the example of Devi Devtas, he, sometimes Lord will work, as you know from Krishna pastimes, to like the Indra Dev pastime of you know, Govardhan. Like Radhisham says, Prabhu says, you know, corrected but not rejected. So there's more that can be said about that profound question. Uh, I think we should go ahead and chant the glories of Shishinatai Satchanandan and the Holy Name, if that's okay. Shri Ramchandraji Ki Jai, Shri Vancha Kalpa Trubya Sakya Sindha Biva Cha Patita Nam Pavne Biva Vaishnaviya Namonama. This is one of the beautiful things about Ramayana is that it automatically engenders lots of questions because it's so relatable. Right? All glory to Valmiki. Shai, His Grace, Jai Sajan Prabhu Ki, Shri Prabhupada Maharaj Ki, Shri Sanitai Sajanandana Bhagavan Ki, Jai Shri Ram! Namo Om Vishnu Padayo, Krishna Prishthaya Bhutale, Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Haribol Niti Namine Namaste Saraswati Devi Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Sunyadi Pasyato Desatarine Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shiva Sadi Gauravakta Vinda Jaya Shri Krishna Nityananda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hari Hari
हरे हरे बो हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे और हरे बो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 बो कृष्णा कृष्णा गौर हरि बो हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरि गो हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्णा और हरि बो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्णा कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण सुनो हरे कृष्ण कृष्णा कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे बोल हरे बोल हरे बोल हे हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हे 
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामो हरे रामो 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 हरे 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 बो नितशति नंदन गोर हरे नितशति नंदन गोर हरे सत्यनंदन गौर हरे नित सत्यनंदन गौर हरे नित सत्यनंदन नित सत्यनंदन गौर हरे नित सत्यनंदन गौर हरे हर बो नित सत्यनंदन गौर हरे नित सत्यनंदन गौर हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे 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 बो 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 जय जय प्रभु पात्र प्रभु पात्र प्रभु पात्र प्रभु जय जय गुरु कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे राम राम हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 
Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Ramo, Hare Ramo, Ramo Ramo, Hare Hare. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Ramo Hare Ramo 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Laribo, 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 जय श्री सनिताय श्री नंदन भगवान के जम विष्णु पाद परमहंस परिव्राज का चरित्र अष्टतर सत्य सिस्मत अभय चरणार विंद भक्ति विदन स्वामी श्री प्रभुपाद महाराज के नेत्रलाप रस जम विष्णु पाद परमहंस परिव्राज का चरित्र अष्टतर सत्य सिस्मत भक्ति सिद्धन श्री ठाकुर गोस्वामी प्रभुपाद महाराज की जय श्री लसन भक्तों ने ठाकुर की जाए, गुरु परंपरा की जाए, सदौ से प्रभुगण की जाए, प्रेम से को जाए, श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्रद्धाभेद का दाह धरे स्वस्थ गौर भक्त ब्रिंद की जाए, गंगा माय जीवना माय की जाए, भक्ति देवी तुलसी महाराने की जाए, अनंत कोटि वैष्णव भक्त ब्रिंद की जाए, सुख मध्यान तत्त्व की जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य महाप्रभु की जय श्री श्री नीता सचनंदन भगवान के जय गौर प्रेमानंदे हरि हरि बोल ऑल ग्लोरिस्ट दशन डूड हरे कृष्णा ऑल ग्लोरिस्ट दशन डूड हरे कृष्णा ऑल ग्लोरिस्ट ऑल ग्लोरिस्ट गुरु इन्द्र गोरंगो ऑल ग्लोरिस्ट प्रोपाद के Namaste Nara Simaya Namaste 
Namaste Nara Sima.
Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. 